Hey guys, Driver02 here, and I just got a quick video, a bit of a quick tip, changing studs, specifically on a GM 14 bolt truck rear end. This is a real quick and easy way of doing it. You're going to need one big hammer, a brass drift or punch, and this one has a hole in the end just to guide it on the stud. Uh, a steel punch or drift and I got a bigger piece of steel that I'm going to use to actually drive them back in with because it'll be a bit easier than using a hammer okay one other thing you're going to need is a couple blocks of wood to set your drum on okay let me get it set up and I'll show you how I'm going to do this okay so I'm going to take piece of brass, sit it on the stud, and watch how easy I can get it out. Three hits, I'd say that was a tough one. One, getting better. Last one. There we go. So what was that? Maybe two minutes? Okay. So now, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna reinstall these longer studs. Those are the ones I took out. They're one inch and these are uh, inch and three quarters. And that's just from the hub face, obviously not total length, so. It's just as easy. I'm gonna flip it upside down and basically do the reverse. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do is get your studs and place them in or at least some of them and then line up the wooden blocks so that they're against where the studs are going to come out so you don't want them blocking them but you, you want them right up against them so you have the most support for when you you know when you're pressing them back in. So okay. okay, so I can feel the wooden block is is right next to them. Take your punch, set it on top, and hammer away. That was two hits and it's almost down. There. So three hits and it's fully seated. Do another one. Fully seated, go to the other side, position 
position the wooden block. Make sure it's nice and stable and not gonna wobble around. There's two. So you can use your fingernail to try and feel underneath or if you have like a feeler gauge or something to make sure they're seated right against the face of the uh, drum. And when you're confident that they're good, rotate and uh, do the next four. Okay, same process for the last four. block almost that one's down last one Okay, and that's that. How long did that take? Maybe two and a half minutes? I would recommend you still torque them down with the lug nuts just to make sure that they are in fact pulled through all the way and fully seated. But at least doing it this way, that's only going to take like a minute or two each stud, whereas pulling them all the way through that this thick hub and through the drum just by torquing the lugs, it takes quite a while and it's quite a bit of effort. It's hard to stop this drum from actually spinning when you do that. So I, I like I like this way of pounding them in and then you know they're 99% of the way there. Maybe you just gotta torque them down to make sure. They probably won't even move. At least I found that they seem like they're seated all the way. Thanks for watching guys. Keep on trucking. Hey, also, just a side note, I'm going to start uploading stuff to my Instagram. You'll be able to see pictures of projects that are ongoing, stuff that's upcoming in videos, and stuff that you might not even see in uh, videos. So check it out. I'll put the link below, and thanks for watching.